Check it out, folks. Listen, if you like a chopped cheese, then you're going to love this. Today, we're going to make a cheesy beef sandwich that's going to really press the line, right? So listen, if you guys look, we got some ingredients right here, right? I've already started heating up my uh, my pan, right? Look, I'm going to be using branch and vine avocado oil, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just add just a little bit in here. Come on. All right, just a little bit, right? Just to get it started, even though I'm using 80-20 ground beef, right? Now, one of the things I want to show you guys also is the fact that it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? We got some seasoning, W sauce, we obviously we got to have bread, and we got some cheese, right? So what I'm going to do now is move this around like this. Oh, yeah, we got just enough. I like to start with a little oil when I start anyway, just to get it started. And I'm going to put this flat side down. There we go. Now, I'm going to look at my fire. I got a medium flame right here. I'm gonna leave it right there, right? And we're gonna let that go. I'm gonna let that form just like a little bit of a crust on the bottom. I'm gonna get my meat masher and then we're gonna go ahead and, you know, break it up. I got my masher right here. Well, it's really like, I guess it's a masher, you know what I mean? But this is what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna break this up and we wanna break this up into small pieces, right? Now, once I have this broke up, we need to get our onions in here, right? And don't forget, as always, the full ingredient list will be on my website, and that's smoking and grilling with ab.com, and that's w i t a b.com, right? So, break this down, and again, this is 80 20. You guys can use 90 10 if you don't want to have like the fat content in here. It helps you when it comes to the, like drainage and all of that. But for me, I like it to be flavorful, and I like to do it just like you see. All right, so if you look down here, you can see inside the skillet. Check that out, you see that? That's the fat that's coming off. That's that 20% fat content, right? Now, I'm getting ready to go ahead because I like to give my onions always a head start, right? So, I'm gonna add it all. I like to have the onion, but we are gonna cook that down. Get just a little bit on the translucent side also, right? So now, I'm gonna take my wooden, right? And just move this around like this. And then we are gonna add some seasoning to it. If you look, we still see a little pink. We got the onions, they starting to cook down, right? I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. Right, now we're gonna add a little seasoning. Today I'm gonna be using my burger rub. This is another thing, you know, this has been moving off of this shelf. You guys got another way you can put it right here in this sandwich right here. Or, check this out, you can use the B. This is the more heavier rub for the heavier meats, but it works great with this. Let's go ahead and get a little seasoning in here. All right, so we'll just mix this up, right? Now don't forget, if you're using any of my products, everything is on the low sodium side, they low sodium oil products. I like to always add like a pinch or two of salt, you know, because we want to just like control it. We don't want nothing like overly salted. Once I have it like this, I can see where my onions are. Now I'm gonna come with my bell peppers. Now I want you guys to notice, look, I went a little bit on the fine side, right? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you dice them down small and a little bit more fine, what is that for? I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all anyway. Listen, if you do small for flavor, larger for texture. And then the last thing I do is I add my W sauce, right? So we just give it a sprinkle or two. And then last but not least, we're gonna add a garlic clove, right? We're gonna go ahead and mess this down. You guys can see, there it is, S and G on there. This will be available this fall, you know, going into the holiday, you guys. So if you wanna get some luck, like something that like make your life way, way easier, then get this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze this and put a smile on my face. Look at that right there. Now, one of the things I like that I wanna show you guys is that you put it on top, right? Cause you know, garlic burns real, real quick. Right, so we put it on like that. And then we go ahead and just give it a mix in the inside. Now mix it thoroughly, because we only put one in there. Just enough to give it a hint of that garlic. Whew, you can smell it. Now I'm on a medium flame. You know what I mean? This is good right here, right? Now we finna start making it a little bit on the creamy side. Now check this out, folks. Look at this right here. Just a little bit at a time. All right, so once you get the rest of your cream of mushroom in here, I know some of you guys thinking like, I don't like mushroom. Man, you I, just trust me, folks. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this fire off. And when I say trust me, 
If you don't want to trust me, you know what I mean, I guess you can go ahead and use cream of uh, chicken, but cream of mushroom and this right here works just fine, right? Now, I turned off my fire. We're gonna start adding just a little bit of the shredded cheese that I shredded myself. Don't forget you guys, shred your own. Okay, folks, listen, every time I make these, these right here is fire. I held this off as long as I could. I really wanted to be outside, make a chopped cheese and do this alongside of it. But I want you guys to take a look. I got an eye card up here to show you when I made the chopped cheese, you guys make it. And then try this one here and tell me which one of you guys, which one of these that you think is like fire. Don't get me wrong, chopped cheese is fire, but this right here, mm. You see that right there? I done already hit it. Look, when you get your bun right, you guys can use any kind of uh, bread you like, but I like these whole style buns right here. So, you know what? We finna just go in here and dig in. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Do I got anything on my mouth? Not for real. Hey, check it out. This right here is fire. I didn't already said everything. I really want to read you guys' comments down in the comment section below. You know what I mean? And let me know what you think. What else could I could have added to this to make it just a little bit over the top? You guys tell me. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Now, usually I pick up a plate and I walk out of here and hit y'all with the deuces, but I'm gonna do it like this this time. I'm gonna grab this one because somebody else finna come and knock that off. And I'm out. Peace.